Welcome to Hope Happenings. This show is made possible by Channel 3 and the Hope Center. Well, I say this every year, but I can't believe it's already December. I know. I agree. And I hate to say this, but I think it's just because our life is just so busy, and I hate the word busy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's generic, and it's like, I'm just not busy. There's stuff I'm doing. Uh -huh. so, but I don't know how else to <laughs> state it, so we're just busy. busy. <laughs> and it gets busier as the holidays come around, and it is just like, where does the time go? Because you can't slow down. When you have kids in sports, like I do, we're yeah. six days a week right now, so oh it's pretty busy. <laughs> yeah, for a break right now. We don't have any sports going on for now, so uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I'm thankful for the break. Well, it takes a lot of time and money to keep these things going, and um, we all don't need anything else to do, but we do have something for everybody to do coming up. We do, yes. Um, our Christmas open house is December 13th. We're so excited. It's 5.30 to 7.30 here at the Hope Center, and um, it's open to everyone, so we're excited about that. Yeah, you don't have to be a client to come in. We just want everybody in our community to come in and enjoy what we have this um, what we have to offer for the evening. Mm -hmm. And we will have cookies and hot chocolate, but more importantly, we will have pictures with Santa and Mrs. Claus. And so that's always exciting. Kids always love that. And um, the pictures are free. Right. Yeah. Every Every child that comes in gets their picture taken with Santa. Um, we will send them a free picture. Uh, that's always nice to have for keepsakes for your baby book or, uh, you know, your photo album for your family. And um, we also will give a small gift to each child that gets their picture taken with Santa as well. So um, we're really excited, and we're going to offer tours uh, throughout the center. If you're interested in learning more about the Hope Center and what services we have to offer, you can come and take a tour and, and check us out. Well, as we think ahead to January, January is Sanctity of Life Month. We always celebrate Sanctity of Life Month with our baby bottles. Um, this year we're going to have them out in churches and restaurants and different organizations, and so that's exciting. Yeah, in 2015 we had around 30 churches and organizations that collected money for us. And last year was our largest collection so far um, ever. So we just want to say we appreciate you and the community supporting us. Yes, we do. And just remember that any donations that are made to the Hope Center are tax deductible. And so um, get those donations in by the end of the year and you will receive a letter in the mail from us that you can use to um, take with your, when you do your taxes, you'll be able to take those, that letter in to claim that um, donation on your taxes. And also if there's any um, churches or businesses that would like to participate, if you wanna host a baby bottle at your office or if your church um, would like to participate and currently doesn't, you can call me at the center at 825-1244. So do you wanna tell us um, if they make a year-end donation, you send a letter out and that they can file that with their taxes and that's all that they need to do, right? It's pretty easy and simple and that's not just one time, that's any donations that they've made all year, right? Absolutely. Um, the letter will include um, any donations and uh, anything that was made at the banquet or if you send in a letter in December and want to get that last minute donation made to us, um, that's all included in the letter. Okay, and even if they, they want to make it December 31st, as long as it's postmarked, we can still count it, right? Yes, we can. Okay. Yes. That's good. Um, our operating budget, a lot of people don't know this, but our operating budget is close to $200,000 a year yes, because it we've is. grown substantially. Um, the reason for that is because we have um, grown, but we're offering more services. And so the more services we offer, the more clients that we get to see, and all of these services are free to our clients or at no cost to our clients. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when we offer more, unfortunately, that means more expense. It does, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's why we're so thankful um, for our partners, you know, the people that host the baby bottles for us and the people that come out to our banquet and participate in our fundraisers, mm -hmm. um, our monthly donors, our church donors, because we wouldn't be here without them. So... 
Um, as the number of people um, increases, um, so do our appointments, and we just want to share that in 2015 we had around 1,000 appointments, and um, I think that's just a nice round number that a lot of people probably don't realize that we have that many appointments. Yeah. Yes, we year. do. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So, you know, our clients come back for multiple visits, and those visits add up. Yeah. Um, well, coming up next, um, we will have some ladies from the Warm Glow Candle Factory with us, and she's going to show us how to put together a fairy garden and the different things that they have to offer with that. So, we'll see you soon. Cradles Child Care at the Hope Center offers a loving environment for children of high school students, college students, and our working parents. We accept infants two weeks of age to three years old. If you are looking for a low cost child care, please contact 825-1244 or visit our website at hopecenterconnersville.com. Welcome back. We have Becky with us from Warm Glow today, and we've asked them to come so that she can kind of give us some insight as to um, some fairy gardens and things that moms and dads can do with their kids over holiday break. Hey, Becky, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so what are we making today? I have brought stuff to make a, since we're going into the holiday season, a frozen-typed fairy garden theme. Nice. So would you like to put that one together sure. first? Sure, I'd love to. I brought a bowl or a pot, as you can see, yeah. that if you would like to put um, live plants in it, you'd just want to put a little bit of rock. Okay. Then you'd put the soil, and then you would be able to, which since I didn't bring live plants, we're going to do substitute. You can use, um, you can always use paper or styrofoam, anything to just to fill the pot. Okay. And then you'd want to put your moss on top. This can get kind of messy, so... That's okay. We're all washable. Now, you had talked about the dirt. Uh-huh. And um, you had mentioned earlier in conversation that you guys make your own dirt. Yes. So do you want to expand on that and let me know what's involved? What it is is um, it's kind of a secret recipe that we do. And we sell it for different, um, like a half a pound or a pound, two pound, three pound. And... The recipe that we have is great before drainage. Okay. It's, we do, I can tell you we do add sand to it, so that helps with the drainage, and um, we sell quite a bit of it. And okay. we sell more of it, uh, obviously, in the spring and summer, early fall months. Sure. But, yeah. And it can be used, you know, it can be used for anything. It's multi-purposed. Okay. Potting soil is what it is. So they can plant their pots mm -hmm. or their flowers in it in their pots at home and yes. build their fairy gardens. Yes, and, absolutely. And, um... So, do I see styrofoam pieces in here? Actually, you have that's, a secret recipe. We have a secret recipe, okay. but I can tell you that's perlite. Okay. So, so that's good for retaining moisture. Yes. Yes. So that's good. Yes. All right. So we would have our rock and our dirt mm -hmm. or sand, whatever we're mm -hmm. choosing. And um, now, did you tell me that you grow your own moss, or are you? Actually, we. Um, I order it in. You do. I do order okay. it in. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so then. Um, watering can can use it, and the main store and Warm Glow can use it. You guys yes. just share? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. The floral department can use it. And uh, what we do is we um, separate it into half sheets, and then we bag it, and we sell it for $3 a bag. Okay, so affordable. Yes, very affordable. All right, affordable. so um, what exactly are we building here today? Do you want us to show us how to yeah. assemble? So basically, I brought some things that would be, since, like I said, we're in the holiday season, um, the frozen theme. Nice. It's such a huge theme. Right. And you would just basically, my styrofoam may well, not work the best. We don't have our rocks in, so we're a little unstable. Yeah. Could I hold something? Yeah, the styrofoam is just not going to work the best, but we'll make it work. There you go. So basically, you, you just have to have a vision of, it doesn't have to be perfect when you put it together because you can remove the pieces and make it the way you want it. I mean, so, you can change it once you've got it. Yeah, it's not just you set it once and then you're done. They actually can play right. around. And, right. Okay. I guess I actually would like to put some of the, to show like a little So the rocks string. just kind of add to the frozen theme, right? Mm-hmm. That's nice and colorful. Just gives you a little something. Then you can put a little house. Or you can put, I have a little ice skater. Nice. Or she could be, 
actually out skating. On our little frozen pond. Mm -hmm. And we do carry snow where I would have, if I would have thought, I would have brought some of the snow to cover it too. I do have one of these done in the store and the kids just absolutely love it. Yeah. They absolutely love and it. And I like that the Christmas tree lights mm -hmm. up. That's so festive. Yeah. So I put a couple of those. And you, know, you can put a little horse-drawn carriage for just maybe this. Um, really, do. You, your imagination is your limit. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You can build an enchanted garden or you mm -hmm. can just change it around, whatever the mood for the day is, right? Right. Right. Some of them, you just have to play with them. Some of them they'll set, you know. But then you could add a little more gravel to widen. Your frozen pond. Yes, and you could make, because with this, it kind of looks like a waterfall. It does. Yeah. So it's kind of like a stream going out, and then yeah. maybe you could, at the end, put a little fairy garden. Actually, it says Winter Wonderland. Yeah. So. That is adorable. There's just different. I mean, you know, it, it really depends on your taste. It does. Yeah, you can customize mm -hmm. it. Yeah, absolutely. And so... You guys sell all these at the watering can? Yes, yes we do. And people can come in and buy kits or they can buy these individual mm -hmm. pieces to build on what they mm -hmm. already have, right? Right. And I try to keep uh, a little bit of something for everyone. Okay. You know, I do carry um, things for boys, things um, that are bigger items for outside gardens. Okay. Um, you could do, I mean, it really just depends on your imagination and yeah. the things that you like. Right. There's always, you know, every, everyone's different, so, which is great because everybody has their own imagination on how they want to do things. Absolutely. Um, so you said you have some things for boys. Mm -hmm. We have some boy. I, I actually have this right here, which is a new theme that we just got in, and it is trolls. Oh, so cute. we have a lot of the trolls. Yeah. And then we've got some castles that go, and then these little gnome land stumps. Um, this one is gnomes. A gnomes wasn't built in a day. Gnome wasn't built oh. in a day. So, you know, so just <laughs> little alligators, little dragons, just, you know, basically boy things that, you know. So it doesn't have to always be centered around little girls. Right. That's fun. Um, and so we had talked earlier about um, maybe if you don't keep your room clean mm -hmm. or um, you need a little bit of extra accountability through the year that the fairies yes. could watch you and uh, maybe provide some accountability and help yes. mom and dad out. You want to yeah, and, and you could say you had this garden you and your daughter had made or, or son, you know, and they just were having some issues with behavior or, right. or, you know, chores weren't getting done. The fairies come in at night and they will move the garden around due to the fact that you're not doing the right thing. Mm. So, you know, the next morning they may come in and this is things have been taken out or moved. So it kind of goes back to... A little bit of responsibility. Right. I wish I would have had this when my kids were little. <laughs> the fairy said, yeah. clean your room. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, and, and, and going back to responsibility, we also carry live plants. So, okay. you know, when you're doing this, that does teach a lot of responsibility for the fact that you got to remember to water those plants. Sure, yeah. And then, like we said, as you were building this, mm -hmm. um, the rock, the sand, whatever you choose to put mm -hmm. in there will help with drainage. Yes, absolutely. And so we do have some succulents that are um, artificial. Artificial. So um, yeah. I don't know if those would fit in with this theme. Yeah, or you, if could, you want to show how those. You would could go. just add down into. It'll stick right into the styrofoam. It's got that little pointed end. I don't know if it's roll as well, but. Those can really just be fillers. Yes, absolutely. Ooh. And maybe the kids know that they can move around um, the figurines and mm -hmm. the castles and stuff, but, mm -hmm. the, but the plants need to kind of be yes. where they are because yes. you don't want your styrofoam to be all punctured. Right. And you can just, you know, organize it however, whatever you desire. So cute. So this is obviously for indoors. If somebody wants to come see you at the watering can uh -huh. and they want to build one outside, mm -hmm. um, they have an alcove or um, part of their garden and they just kind of want to have a special place for the grandkids. 
Um, yeah. Where would they start? What do they need to do first? And what do you recommend the first purchase be? Most of that is uh, a lot of people have already got their garden set, their flower okay. gardens. So they just want to add, and they might come in and buy larger houses. Okay. We do carry a lot of um, solar, so it's really nice for your outside gardens that, you know, you can look out and you mm -hmm. see that lit up. Yes, um, those are nice. My neighbor has those. Yeah, and, and people love that. They love the light at night. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of the larger um, houses that you can put out in your garden. Um, you can buy, you know, basically any of your outdoor plants. Oh, okay. You know, your um, perennials or, you know, whatever that you, you just choose to put in. Mm -hmm. So then you can build around it with your color and then... You, you know, you can use at home. A lot of people have the rock in there so they can sure. build their own paths instead of the okay. smaller rock. But there's just so many. It it's really falls back on imagination. What, it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so you sell kits mm -hmm. uh, we do various the sizes and price mm -hmm. ranges. And mm -hmm. so we have some additional items over here that we can highlight. Mm -hmm. This is a kit that we sell. And they range anywhere from, oh, 20 to $28. Okay. And in this particular kit, you get these four items here and then we have another kit that's actually a camping theme and then I have a couple others in store but they're more along the camping everyday type right so in the fall we carry fall um, kits okay um, we do in the spring summer and early fall we do do fairy garden workshops oh that's good to know yes we do do those and okay. what we do is we set up a kit and we have, I believe it's like $10, and you get your soil, your moss, your pot, and then we have a gentleman who works very close with me who puts on the actual um, workshop. Okay. And it's really a neat experience. That sounds fun. It really is. It's, it's really something. We, we have a um, large variety that come from the young to the old. Oh, sure. That, that really have an interest in it. Yeah. So, so is pre-registration required? Yes, we usually take 20 online? per class. Okay. And then we advertise when we're going to be doing it. And then we'll take the, those 20. And, and actually, I've, I've been out uh, to a couple different locations and done them on site. Oh, we went okay. to Winchester to, to Randolph County Hospital up there and did one. And then we've done um, a mother-daughter theme in Richmond. Okay. So... It, it's, it's really become a huge thing. Yeah. When we it's first grown. opened the watering can, we had a very small area. Okay. That small area has now grown to a huge area that I right. just recently expanded because I'm getting so much in. Yeah. Yeah. It's just so fun and imaginative. It and, is. You know, you can ask for these things from grandma, from aunts, from uncles, and um, mm -hmm. you don't have to go out and spend hundreds of dollars to get started just by a core kit for, you know, $23, $28, right. get started, and the fun of it is just building as you go. Right, right. And, and I did not mention, I forgot about this, but when we do our kit for our um, workshops, it also comes with a little fairy, too, that... Oh, cute. Which these are perfect, because they set right in, so you can have a different type fairy. So I carry all kinds of different fairies. You'll see I have this, this style, this style, I mean, I have her... I've got, you know, this different one. It, it's really just, like I said, your imagination and what you're, what you're themed, what, the things that you like. Right. Um, and I really liked the concept earlier. We were talking about the fairy mailbox. Yes. In the watering can. Yes, I do have a fairy mailbox. Um, we decorate it for the seasons. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually um, an actual mailbox that the children can place a letter in and... The watering can fairy seems to come at night. She waits till after the store is closed, and she gets the mail. Mm. And then I've had a couple of children. Can you make her clean the store? <laughs> I wish. I've tried, but I've, I've left notes for her to do that. Yeah. And she just right. hasn't got to the point yet. Right. But, but anyway, I had a couple children come in from Ohio, and they had left her a note. Both of them had left a note, and she responded to them. So Let's the next see. time they were traveling through, they Aww. stopped to tell me that they had got a letter from her and they were so excited that there were some new pieces that she knew of that were put into her to their new fairy garden. Oh, I so, love that. Yeah. That just makes it so magical for those it, it kids does. and it sparks their imagination and um, you know, just let them be little and have that imagination and mm -hmm. and just run with it and explore that right. creativity. Because I honestly think that we're all a kid at heart. Right. 
that, that it's in there. We just have to find it. Some of us do. But. Yeah. Yeah. And so. And this has been a great thing for mothers, grandmothers, daughters, yeah. grandsons, sons. Sure. It's, it's, it's a great family activity together. Right. And then somebody wants, has an opinion to set it up this way. Maybe you'll leave it that way for a week. Right. And then grandma wants to change it because grandma's got her own ideas. And mm -hmm. let's be respectful to grandma. Yeah, exactly. And so let's let her change it up and, and maybe have fun with it that yeah. way. Yeah. So yeah. Um, do you want to talk about, you have an open house coming yes. up? Yes. We do have an open house. It's December 1st through the 4th. Okay. And this is our huge event. Right. We do a lot of in-store sales. We have secret Santas. Um, we do photos with uh, Mr. and Mrs. Claus will be there. Nice. And that always is huge. The kids right. love that. Right. The uh, Ice Queen. And we have a special guest this year. There's also um, live reindeer. I will have live reindeer oh, at the watering wow. can on Sunday. And I believe they're there from 1 to 5. Okay. The kids can come out. And they are so neat to come and see. That That's just really magical. Yeah. Um, and then, now, but there's we, no omission to... No. The rain, do they, can they feed the reindeer or pet um, them or just kind of see them from afar? I think it's, well, you can get pretty close. Okay. And I'm thinking last year she did have little treats that the kids could give. So, yeah, it, it's a really a neat experience. I mean, it, yeah. I've been with Wormglow for 10 years. Okay. So this is my 10th anniversary, basically, with open houses. Wow. So you are a seasoned yes. pro. Yes, yeah. I truly am. Yeah. Um. Well, is there anything else that you want to highlight? Anything that we didn't touch on? I feel like we covered a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, Black Friday, though, we are having Black Friday sales. Okay. So please check us out for Black Friday because there is going to be some in-store sales going on. Okay. Um, I am going to have some fairy garden things that are on sale. So please stop and check us out because there's lots going on this next few weeks. That's going to be dangerous for me. <laughs> right it is now. for a lot of people. It really yes, is. Yes. Yeah. I always love coming to the store. And... Um, we just wanted to have you guys on today. We appreciate Warm Glow's partnership so much. Um, you guys are always so generous when we need silent auction baskets or, mm -hmm. you know, a little filler here and there, a votive to give or whatever. And so we're so thankful for your partnership and all that you do. And I so love when small businesses remember to invest in the community that yes. built them. Yes. And so I know Warm Glow is um, very generous that way. And so... Um, make sure you relate to Miss Jackie how much we appreciate I your sure partnership. I sure will. I sure will. And we appreciate you having us today. We thank you very much. Yeah, well, it's been fun. I've learned some new things that I didn't Stop know. out and see me at the watering can. I know. I might have a new hobby. <laughs> um, well, thank you for watching Hope Happenings today. And um, you can always visit us on our website at hopecenter.com. The Hope Center is in need of volunteers. Some areas of need are housekeeping, volunteer nurses, advocates, and cradles child care. If there is a particular area of the center that touches your heart, that's where you could donate your time, talent, and treasure. If you are interested in volunteering at the center, please call 825-1244 or visit our website at hopecenterconnersville.com and click on Get Involved.